should I take psychiatry as a branch for my post graduation? So I'm not sure about it. How do I decide? If you have some of these questions, then this video is for you. Hello friends, I'm Dr. Ankit Goyal, the psychiatry faculty at Prep Ladder. So in this video, we are going to talk about some important aspects related with it. Psychiatry is a field of medicine which deals with understanding and treating mental health conditions. We can help not just in managing a psychiatric disorder, but also in managing psychological distress, relationship issues and stressful situations. We treat patients in OPD as well as in inpatient facilities with medicines and non-pharmacological methods or psychotherapy. Now, while considering psychiatry as your speciality, there may be three group of students. One group is of those students who are always interested in psychiatry. The second group is of students who know maybe through their previous experiences of postings, classes, or maybe through their instincts, they know that psychiatry is not their cup of tea. So I wish all the very best for exploring the right branch for you. Now let me talk about the third group of students who are in some sort of dilemma as they have a rank in which psychiatry is one of the branches available to them. They may have positive and negative feelings towards psychiatry or are not sure whether they should pursue it as a branch or not. So let's discuss some important questions which most of us ponder upon before choosing psychiatry. The first and usually one of the most common question asked is, is there any criteria or any factors required to take up psychiatry. Let me put it in this way. You must have some interest or liking towards the branch or there should be some amount of keenness towards it. You don't have to be in love with it from the very beginning. Next question, which is again quite common. Should one have good communication skills or should one be full of patience for psychiatry? Now in psychiatry, while dealing with person with mental illness, we do spend a lot of time with the patient as compared to other branches. Some degree of patience and calmness is adequate to begin with. And if you like spending time with the patient, then surely it is one of the branches to consider. You learn to develop the skills to deal with patients and situations with time. All comes back to your interest and keenness. Does dealing with patients with mental illness affects your own mental health as a psychiatrist. We need to understand we all, like any other human being, are susceptible to develop mental illness. In fact, with years of training of dealing with patients with mental illness, with stressful situations, you sometimes develop a clearer perspective toward things and deal with them in your life in a better way. Now let's take up some queries related to the college or hospital for pursuing psychiatry. So the number one question is, sir, which college to choose? how to decide. Firstly, of course, it depends on your rank and what options are available. For choosing a college, you can keep some of these points in mind. First, how is the patient footfall? Purely mental health hospital or a hospital in major cities or central locations may have a good patient footfall. Second, how is the inpatient facilities in the hospital? Now, in your residency, Especially in the initial phase, you learn a lot from the admitted patients as you spend a lot of time with the patient and you see the progress in front of you. So you may choose a hospital with a good inpatient facilities. The third point is, are other modalities such as ECT, RTMS available in the hospital? Now many of the places, techniques like ECT are available and you tend to learn and deal with patients requiring them. But of course, if they are not available, you can still learn them in your senior residency. Try to talk to residents, that is senior residents, junior residents, and consultants in the hospital you're planning to join to get an overview about things there. Now, another question regarding college, which pops up is, does language play an important role while choosing the college for your post-graduation? In psychiatry, a lot of information about the illness is derived from talking to the patient and the informants accompanying the patient. But that does not mean that you cannot take psychiatry in a college in a state where you may not be well versed with the regional or the commonly used language. We have seen so many seniors, colleagues who have done psychiatry from a state with the language they didn't know, but are doing fairly good as others in the field. Now, there are a lot of myths related to psychiatry. Let's try to debunk some of these. Number one is, sir, psychiatry has a lot of stigma. It is a very isolated branch. Now, please understand, mental health awareness is spreading and psychiatry is becoming more mainstream and less stigmatizing. More treatment modalities are available than before and more
people are considering to take up psychiatry. A psychiatry patient may have medical issues and a patient with medical issues may have mental health issues. In a hospital, lot of consultation lies and happens with various medical and surgical specialities. For example, a psychiatrist may be referred for a patient admitted in oncology because of mental health related issues. In fact, consultation lies in psychiatry is a growing speciality. Second myth is, Sir, psychiatry is a very free branch. You get a lot of spare time. Now, don't take up psychiatry because you think it is a free branch and you will get a lot of time. Please understand this. Your residency is a very crucial time for you to learn the craft of the subject. And so you tend to spend more time with the patient. In fact, any residency would demand some level of devotion. Yes, psychiatry may give a better work-life balance as compared to some of the other branches during residency, but it all depends on your college. Usually you will have eight to four training and with overnight shifts as well in residency. Now third is, so psychiatry is a very easy branch. Please understand this. Any branch you take will have some degree of difficulties. In psychiatry, our understanding of the mental disorders is still evolving. And at times there may be uncertainties about the treatment, which may be frustrating. One patient may respond with one medication, while another patient with the same diagnosis may not respond well. Another common misconception in the minds of the student is that psychiatry is an end branch, there are no super specialization. Now, even in psychiatry, you can pursue super specialization in branches such as de addiction psychiatry, child psychiatry, geriatric psychiatry. As many students say that, sir, it is very difficult to establish your practice after post graduation. Now, all branches have different amount of lag period required to establish yourself in practice. Now, in psychiatry, you can either work in a government setup or in a private setting. In private setting, you can either work in a psychiatric hospital or you can set up your OPD clinic. OPD clinics usually may take one to two years to fully establish. So friends, I hope I was able to solve some of your queries regarding psychiatry. My best wishes to all of you in this crucial decision-making phase of your life and I hope you really do well in your careers ahead. You can also subscribe to our channel for more such videos in the future. This is your psychiatry faculty Dr. Ankit Goyal signing off.